Hello everybody, welcome back to a another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the XP command in both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you like my videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials and other Minecraft videos. And so I'll start off by showing how to use the XP command in the Java edition and then move on to better condition afterwards. This video is divided into chapters, so if you only want to know how to do some better condition, you can skip right ahead. But let's get started on Java edition. And so on Java edition, you can use both slash XP and slash experience. They will have the same effect, both commands. We'll just use XP since it is less to type and so there are three options for the xp command we can add xp to players we can query the xp of players so this means we will check the experience level of a player and we can also set the xp to a certain value so let's start with add and if we type in add we can then select the player we want to give the xp to and so add s is yourself you can do add p the nearest player add a every player or at R a random player. And you can also specify just a name, of course, that works here as well. All right, and then next we need to specify how much XP we're gonna give ourselves. If we just do, for example, one, which is possible, press enter, we will give ourselves one point of XP. So that's not a lot, but we can increase this to, for example, 10. And now we see that, hey, we've gotten a first level over here. And so that is possible, but I think personally that using these points, because these are actually points, you can see like this, we can add points to our XP meter. They aren't really that useful. Of course, you can do this if you're, for example, making a map and you want a specific action, like pressing a button to add a certain amount of points of XP. That works completely fine. But levels might be more interesting because this will actually increase the number we see on the bottom of our screen here from 4 to 14. There we go. And so this way you can make stuff like counters. Because not only can you add 10 levels, you can also remove 10 levels using the same command, but then using minus 10, like this. That will remove 10 levels from your total XP count. And if you then just hook up a clock, first let's give ourselves like 40 levels. So we have 40 levels exactly now. And now if we place down a command block here next to this clock, and we do XP add, for example, the nearest player, minus 1 levels, like this, and then press done and go into survival mode, we will see that now our XP bar actually works as a counter. Of course, here it's quite slow. We can decrease the speed like this if we want. We can increase the speed as well, like that. And we could make it even faster if you use, for example, a observer clock like this. Look at that, our counter goes down all the way to zero and then there we'll stop. So now if we add back 10 levels like this, they get counted down very nicely like that, beautiful. Right, so that's what you can do with the add part of the XP command. Then there is, of course, query. So XP query. And then again, you can type in the person you want to know the level of. So for example, myself. And then we can specify if you want to know the amount of points or the amount of levels. So if you say points, it says that I have zero experience points. And if I do levels, it says I have 50,000 experience levels. And so that's because the points actually work per level. And so since we are exactly at 50,000 levels, there is not a single extra point there. It says that I have zero experience points. And so if we add, for example, 25 points to our experience bar like this, it will now say that we have 25 experience points like that. And then finally, there is also the XP set command. And this one you can use to just set the player's experience to a fixed value. And so it works very similar to the add command. Again, we can just specify the amount. So let's say we want uh, 9001 levels. Now we do it just like that. And it will immediately put our experience to exactly 9001 levels. There we go. And so this can be really useful if you don't know the current experience level of the player and you just wanted to set it to a predetermined value. And we can also do points here, of course, instead of levels that works as well. But again, this doesn't change the level. It only changes the amount of points. There we go. We can set it to 10,000, maybe even like 70,000. There we go. So it doesn't change anything about level. It just changes the points in the bar down here. And so that's pretty much the entire XP command on Java Edition. Now let's move over to Better Condition to see what the Experience command is like over there. All right, and now for the XP command in Minecraft Better Condition, let's see what we can do here. 
So on better condition, there is just one command. It is just called XP. There is no experience command here. So we'll just use XP. That is completely fine. And so this can indeed add or remove experience from the player. And so what we do is slash XP. And then we put in an amount of either points or levels. So first of all, for points, we can type in, for example, XP 10. And this will give us 10 points if we put in Ourself. So you can put in all players, all entities, closest player, random player, yourself, or any name of a player that works as well. We can do add S, for example, and if we enter, we will get 10 experience points, just enter again, and then we get another 10 experience points, and so on. And so you can't remove points from the player here on better condition, but you can still reduce the XP level. We'll get to that in a second. Because not only can you add points to the XP meter, you can also add levels. And you do this by putting a capital L after the value you put in here. So if we do XP 10 L at S, this means we'll give ourselves 10 levels of XP like that. And so we can do it again and again and so on and we can also do negative values here so negative values are only possible when you put a capital l after the number and not when you don't do that so it's only possible for levels and not for points so to do minus 10 this will remove 10 levels so it takes 10 levels from me and so you can do that again and again and again to remove all of the levels from the player and so the maximum number of levels you can give the player is 2,147,483,647. Uh, there we go. As you can see, it doesn't display on your counter down below. That one just caps out at 24,791. And so if you try to give yourself one more level than this, like 48, it will not work. It will just give you an error. And so if you give yourself too many levels, so for example... If we give ourselves another one of these massive amount of levels, we will see that it resets all the way back to zero. And so there is a maximum number of levels you can have as well. But that is it for the XP command in bare condition. There is no XP set or XP query. It's just adding or removing XP from the player. And so this means you can still make a timer that counts down using the XP bar. Very similar to what I showed on Java Edition. If you skip through that part, then just go back to Java Edition. I showed how to make a beautiful countdown timer using the XP command. Where you just take away a single level every couple of ticks using a command block and a redstone clock. And so there we go. That's pretty much it. If you have any more questions about the XP command, then leave them in the comments down below. And I'll try to help you out. And if you like this video, then please make sure you leave a like. And subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials and other Minecraft videos. I want to thank my tier 3 members, the Smiglar and March. Thank you so much for becoming tier 3 members. If you also become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go. I hope you all enjoyed the episode in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Mm,